See, when you give your heart to the Lord, this is Pat Love back from Love Healing Hearts. When you give your heart to the Lord, the thought of it is frightening because we feel like we're giving up our rights. We we want to screw who we want to screw, do who we want to do, all that. But, you know, there comes a point where you have to say, it's time to grow up. It's time to quit being out there trying to play my life away. Because when you play your life away, the first one it shows up on is you. There are people who would never, never recognize you because life has hardened you. And, 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 and I mean, you look like life is just eating you up inside out. And you don't realize how glazed and dazed your eyes look and how rough your voice sounds and, and how, how, oh, grainy your skin looks. And I mean, you just don't realize it. And you have been protecting your right to stay connected with a life that has done nothing for you, nothing whatsoever. You get a good hustle here and there, have a good day here and there. But as a life, you're basically living a living hell. And you've gotten so used to it. You've gotten so used to the abuses of that lifestyle that you don't expect anymore. But there's so much more that God can give you, the love you've always longed for, that scratch. You know how you have a, an itch and you'd scratch around it, you just can't seem to find that spot? That's the way our souls are. We dig and we scratch and we dig and we scratch, but we're still empty, we're still itching, we're still unsatisfied. It's like, oh, frustrated. And you have no idea the kind of love God has for you. You have no idea the kind of peace he has in store for you. You can literally live at peace. You don't have to wait till you die. You can live at peace. You can have peace permeating through you. The love can flow into you, flow around you, flow through you. You can find yourself having love for people you never thought you'd have love for. Because it's God's love. It's totally different from ours. You actually can. I've seen people. Uh, let me say this. I've heard stories. I haven't seen it. I've heard stories of people who got saved totally drunk. I mean, been alcoholics almost all their adult life. Hit the altar. Drunk. Get up, stone sober, joyful, peaceful, totally feeling clean, countenance just glowing compared to the warmed over death look that was on them when they went to the altar. God makes all the difference. This is the prayer I want you to pray. Yeah, I'm telling you, I'm not asking. Repeat after me. Father, I have wasted my years. I have totally gotten crappy under the stick. Seemed like I didn't know any better. I was just stuck on stupid. And now I'm a mess. Well, I'm asking you to please forgive me for sin, Lord. God, forgive me. Have mercy on me. Heal my heart, heal my soul, my mind, my spirit, my body. Give me a second chance at life. And I accept your son, Jesus Christ, as my Lord and Savior. I, don't, I may not know what all that means, but I just pray that you help me. I'm going to need a lot of help, so please fill me with your Holy Spirit. I can't do this alone. And please don't give up on me. In the name of Jesus, thank you for your mercy. Thank you for forgiveness. And thank you for power and strength. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. 
Now, you can, I said the sentence, you can pause it and repeat it. Then the next sentence, pause it and repeat it. However you have to get it out, say it in your own words. But say it. Say it. I'm feeling like there are three people that are checking this video out that are on the verge of death. Three people. That's the number I'm getting. I may be wrong. But however many there are of you, say it. Don't ignore it. Don't walk away from it. Say it now. You may not have tonight. Say it now. In the name of Jesus. God bless you.